guys, Crazy Postman here. So today's gonna be quite the adventure. Uh, I wanted to go find a V3 supercharger and do a as close to zero to 100 as I can, just to time it out and see how the V3 works. So the closest one to me happens to be in Grapevine, Texas, which is in the Dallas Metroplex area. So. I live in western, southwestern Oklahoma, so it's quite a trip for me to get there. But it'll still be a fun trip, I'll learn some things, we'll get to make this video together. So part of the adventure today is getting there on one charge. I want to see if I can do it, but I do have a bailout option if uh, required. There is a supercharger in Henrietta, Texas that I can stop at. The car says I can get there with 12%, but when I left town, it said 15%. So we're slowly eating into that reserve. So I may have to stop at that Henrietta just for maybe five minutes, just to get a little bit of a buffer. So sit back and enjoy the ride and we will see what happens. I am sitting at the Henrietta Supercharger here. You can see we're at a we got a steak and shake in a, a big gas station over there. We got three other Teslas here charging. I'm not sure if you can see them out the window. But here's the thing. It says I should be able to get to Grapevine Supercharger with 19% remaining. So I don't actually have any reason to supercharge here if I'm trying to get as low as possible. There you go, Grapevine, Texas. It says I should be there with 19%. So we're 99 miles away and my range estimate says I have 174 miles available. We're going to go ahead and push on and hopefully I don't regret this decision. Maybe they're Hopefully no traffic or circumstances pop up. So we're gonna go ahead and skip this supercharger. I will see y'all in Grapevine. Okay, so we've had a slight development I'm coming into town with 20% remaining. So I turned back north on I-35 here. Not exactly sure how far north I'm gonna have to go right now, but I'm going back north towards Oklahoma again to burn some of this extra energy off. After that, I will be headed back to Grapevine to charge at that uh, V3 chargers. Okay guys, I'm having to take things to the extreme a little bit now. I got a... Uh, my windows down, heater on high, both windows down, and it's still estimating 10% arrival. <laughs> I'm going to do everything I can do to get it under 10% before I get there. This is ridiculous. I never thought my Tesla would go too far on a charge. I can't believe I got all the way here from western Oklahoma with 20%. Alright, here I am in Grapevine, Texas. I made it with 8% battery charge after uh, much trying to waste battery. I got here with 20% and drove around on I-35 and now I finally gave up at 8%. This is just as low as I'm going to get. So I'll go from 10% to 90% on a V3 here to show everybody how fast the V3 charges. Now one thing I've already noticed never being to a V3 before, the cables are much skinnier. Let me take you over here. So this is what the V3s look like. They look like the V2s except the cabling is just much skinnier. It's, it's slightly thicker than the home cable 
but it is very nice and skinny. Okay, here we are. We're gonna plug her in. She had a long journey. And that is a nice skinny cable. I like it, not heavy at all. We have a ramp up to 100 kW. That time it's displaying is to 100%. I'm gonna stop a little bit after 90%. Or at a 10% already. 11%. There it goes. Yep. I did not quite see 250. I guess you have to be a little bit less state of charge. So we're off to the races here and we very quickly hit 10, 15, and 20 percent. Before I can even actually look at the numbers, I'm at 30 percent. Goodness gracious. So we hit 40 percent about 11, 17. And now it starts to kind of slow down to a more human level. We hit 50% at 11.20 and then moving on to 60% at 11.24. Now it kind of starts slowing down a little bit and I mean that's understandable. We're getting at a higher level of charge here so we're at 70% at 11.29. Man, it's taken a little bit longer to get to 80. 80% 80 at 11.36. And now is going to be the longest stretch to get to 90 because those kilowatts are going down quick. But we get there. 90% at 11.45. And if you break those numbers down... That's 10% to 50% in 10 minutes and 10% to 90% in 35 minutes. This is an interesting chart here. Very useful. So you can see the battery level where we start. And that's down at 7%. And then you can see it all the way up to 100%. Well, 90%. That's where I stopped charging. Well, this uh, one on top is uh, the charger output. So you can see we maxed out at 243 kW at about 15%. And then it kind of comes down and we have this weird little notch here. And then it just continues to taper on down until the end. So I just wanted to leave you with this little uh, nice little graph here to show you what we did at the V3 supercharger in Grapevine, Texas. So that brings us to the end of the video. I want to thank you for watching this. And, you know, do all the YouTube things. Hit that like and subscribe. And the best thing if you want to watch my videos is to hit that little bell. Because uh, YouTube doesn't like to show you everything you want to see. They want to show you what they want you to see. But you hit that little bell and every time I post something it'll pop up on your phone. You don't want to watch it. You can swipe it away. But... Thanks for watching this episode, and I will see you in the next one.